Welcome back. As we're tracking the potential for severe weather tonight right here at home, city and county leaders are launching a book club to help keep you and your family safe. Joining us this morning to talk about this is County Commissioner Bridget Shea. Good morning. Good morning. So the book that we're talking about that the book club will center around, it's called The Resilience Dividend. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what it is. Well, first of all, I do want to say Rockefeller Foundation donated a hundred of these, and we've put them in the libraries, and we've given them to the first responders, so they'll be available to everybody in the, in the community. And really what it is is a little bit of a how-to manual, if you will, for how to be better prepared for increasingly violent and destructive weather. Um, and she looks at case studies around the planet from disasters about where things have been done right and, uh, and takes tips and and guidance from that about how cities and communities and neighborhoods and individuals can be better prepared for increasingly violent and destructive weather. And I believe it was our state climatologist in Texas in the in the 20s or the 30s who said, Texas is the land of perennial drought broken by the occasional devastating flood. So we always have these extremes of weather, but you're yeah. saying that they're increasing with climate change. Absolutely. I think every climate model, every weather projection is, is pretty, you know, unanimous on this we will see greater and greater extremes of violent and destructive weather. So we know it's coming, and part of what we're hoping the book club will do is get people to look at their own surroundings with fresh eyes and, and ask the question, what can I do to be better prepared? There's actually a great example here in Steiner Ranch, which burned in 2011. That community has gotten organized around a program called Firewise, which helps people minimize the threat of their homes burning with things like if you've got firewood piled up against your house, move it away. Sure. <laughs> if you have a wooden fence or a wooden deck, change that out to fire resistant material, things like that. Great easy advice exactly. too. And you know our own Jim Spencer is privileged to be helping you guys promote this book club, yeah. promote the book itself. Uh, and He was out with you guys at the yeah. launch yesterday. Uh, tell us about how, how Jim is helping to get people involved and how people can uh, maybe read the book or get into the club. Absolutely. Part of it is he uh, has been for many years now helping to, for people to understand the connection between the changing climate and increasing severity of, of weather. He's been a real leader in that. Um, and he talked yesterday about just what he'd seen in his years as a weatherman, how much more extreme the weather has gotten. So uh, he's, he's really helping educate people in that regard. And um, given his long perspective and his experience, I think uh, it adds a lot of weight to it because he's seen it all and he sees how much worse the weather's getting. Yeah, over 25 years at KXAN, yeah, he has exactly. seen it all. Yes, and, and the ultimate goal, correct me if I'm wrong, is to uh, sort of make a model that other cities can follow uh, for preparing for climate change. Exactly. We have some fabulous programs already in place, and we think if we can kind of um, build a better mousetrap on getting people prepared in advance, getting people thinking about it, because frequently people don't think about what to do until the disaster is upon them. The water's rising or the fire's coming. Sure. But if we can get people thinking in advance and being better prepared, like figure out your evacuation route. Um, take those steps to fireproof your house, firewise your yard and your surrounding. If we can get people doing that in advance and through this book club, thinking about it, asking the right questions, taking the right actions, we think that can be part of, of what we bring to uh, creating a model program. Great advice. County Commissioner Bridget Shea, thank you so much for being here. You're so welcome. And thank the book you for is Resilience, Resilience Dividend. Dividend. Is it available yes. online? Uh, it is available online, and we Fantastic. have it in the libraries and uh, all across the city. Excellent. I can't wait to read it myself. Thank you. And